sir. Today I am here with you a good videos to give you a good techniques, good shortcuts, and difficult topic made easy. With a very short span of time, you will be able to solve the numericals with my techniques. So be with me, and I got a lot of encouragement from you all people in the form of likes, in the form of uh, subscriptions, in the form of the comments. And I want all you to continue to give me a good response so that I will be making and I will be understanding your difficulties and I will be making my future videos in that way that will be helpful for you to score better in your examinations. And my lectures are not only for IIT, it is also for me, it is for advanced, it is for AIMS, for all competitive exams, events month starting from the M set. Now we are going to start a short trick. Very, very important questions to solve this molecular orbital theory question. Lot of consume, consuming time is there and still people are not getting the correct answer. So I am here to give you a short tip. Bond order, how to find out bond order without using anything, without knowing anything, where in fraction of seconds you can identify the bond order, okay? So I have divided this total topic into the three parts so that you should be worried. You should be concentrating on the only that topic which is weak, weaker part of you. Okay. So bond order I have divided. Bond order. Okay. Methods to determine bond order. First major part is if it is a diatomic. If it is a diatomic molecule, one procedure. Okay. If it is a polyatomic molecule or ion, okay, polyatomic, it can be molecule or it can be ion only, okay, but most probably the questions are on the polyatomic ions, okay, and molecule also there, but the chances are there mostly in the ions part only, okay. So this is how I have divided this total entire topic into two parts, bond order, diatomic and polyatomic okay polyatomic again ions and molecules okay so better to make it into again further two parts so in diatomic part and again and dividing it into the two different parts okay if the molecule contains less than eight electrons one trick okay if the molecule contain less than eight electron if the molecule contain greater than okay Number of electrons are less than 8 and number of electrons are greater than 8 electrons. Okay. And here polyatomic. Again, I am dividing it into two parts. I am dividing it into how many parts? Two parts. Polyatomic is further divided into two parts. Okay. So the very first part is going to concentrate it on the ions. Ion section. Okay. Polyatomic ions. Second one is polyatomic molecule okay so that you should have a clarification in each and every part each and every part segregation is only to make you comfortable to understand the concept and the work on the that area where you are weak if you feel that you are able to solve more than eight electron question you need not to go about this okay if you are perfect in polyatomic you need not to go over this if you are not able to solve below eight electron you go through and Concentrate only on this section. So I have divided this total into four parts. Okay. Are you ready with me? Okay. Let's start. Let's begin with the less than eight electron. Okay. Let's start with the first part of this section. That is pick to find out bond order of a diatomic molecular ion. It can be diatomic molecular ion anywhere it is applicable and in fraction of second you are going to solve it with much without any knowledge with much uh, without any much background knowledge. Okay, so here we are going to discuss bond order for the diatomic molecular ion with electrons between 8 to 10. Are you ready students? Okay, now as my name itself is V. V for Vijay, V for winning. Okay, so to give you win, I am taking a V. V stands for Vijay, V stands for 
Vijay winning. Okay. So, and the most of you are aware that uh, there is a twist up to 14 and there is above 14. Okay. So, that number 14 you write over here. That number 14 you write at the bottom place. Okay. Now, you write, keep on writing into the parallel lines. Like that, what you have to write? You have to write it into the parallel lines. Okay. Now, here if it is 14, one less, one more here. 13, 15. Okay. 12 and 16. Likewise, up to 8 this side, 20 this side. You should keep on running the parallel lines. Okay. Now 11 and here it is 17. Next parallel line will be for here it will be 10. Here it will be 18. Okay. Next parallel line will be for 9 and it will be 19. Last parallel line will be for 8 and 20. Okay. Are students, are you understood students? So you should make a V. And at the bottom, what should be there? 14. 14 increasing, decreasing, increasing, decreasing by 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, like that. Okay. So left side, finally, what you should find it? You should find it as 8 on the left side and 20 on the right side. Okay. Now, I, all of you must aware that uh, maximum number of bonds between any two, number of bonds between any two atoms, but num uh, bonds between any two atoms will be three so this 14 means it is three 14 means it is three now keep on decremental keep on writing with the decremental of 0.5 okay so if i write here 3 minus 0.5 it is 2.5 and here it is 2 and here it is 1.5 here it is 1 and here it is 0.5 and here it is 0 is it understood students very easy so this is the magic diagram which is going to be very very helpful to you to score good marks in the bond order section within a fraction of seconds not even minutes i'm telling you in fraction of seconds you will be able to solve okay so what does it mean and how to utilize this thus for that i'm going to take one example okay so let us take let us start with the oxygen okay let us start with the oxygen. So oxygen, all of you can know that eight electrons will be there in each oxygen. So there can be maximum of two into eight. That is 16 electrons. Okay. So 16 electrons, just to see here, two. That means bond order of O2 is two. That's all. Okay. Now let us see another example. Okay. First example, is it understood? Now let us see whether it will work for nitrogen or not. Okay. Nitrogen. Each nitrogen 7 electron. Therefore 14 electrons. So 14 electrons means bond order will be 3. Is it understood students? Likewise it is applicable to nitrogen contains triple bond. That's why bond order 3. Oxygen contains 2 bonds. That's why bond order 2. Okay. As I told you here it is applicable for molecule as well as for ions. Let us see is it applicable for ions or not. If applicable, then how to use this. Okay. Now, see, let us O2, 2 minus. This is called as what? Peroxy. What it is called as? Peroxy. Okay. So, in the peroxy side, it everybody knows that bond order must be how much? 1. Okay. Peroxy linkage means one bond between the two atoms, oxygen atoms. Okay. So let us see we are getting it or not. 2 oxygen, 16 electron plus 2, 18 electron. Okay. 18 electron, 1. So I am doing anything. If this diagram is there with you, it is going to be going to be very, very easy for you people. Understood? Now it is again, this is one example of ion. Okay. Now I am taking one more example. One more example. By mistake, it may be applicable to this. It can be applicable to anything. Let us say O2, 2 positive. Positive charge also it is applicable. Positive charge also it is applicable. 16 minus 2, that is 14 electron. Okay. You can write and cross check. It is also going to have bond order of 3. Bond order of how much? 3. Okay. Now let us see heteroatomic. 
it is applicable to heteroatomic molecule also okay let us take cn what we should take cn okay so cn means carbon will be 6 and nitrogen will be 7 let us take cn minus okay cn minus so because of this one more charge will be there okay so cn minus 6 for the carbon n for nitrogen 7 electron and 1 for the negative charge again it is going to get how much uh, 7 plus 7 this is going to be 14 okay again bond order is going to be 3 bond order is going to be 3 this is understood students so this is how you have to draw a magic diagram and with magic diagram you can find out the bond order not even in minutes in fraction of seconds in fraction of seconds okay let us see for the fluorine okay fluorine means 18 electron 18 electron means bond order will be one likewise with just having a glance you can find out the bond order is understood this is the magic of b so b with v b sir and keep winning keep successful in your life let's see the next part Okay, next let us see about the next part. Here it is 4. Okay, like in the previous example, we have taken it as a 14. Okay, now we are going to take with 4. Okay, so 4 again, this will be 3, this will be 5, one line. Okay, same way, here it is 2 and here it is 6. And here it is 1 and here it is 7. Okay. So from 8 onwards already we have studied, 8 onwards already we have studied, okay. So like there it was the maximum for the bond order, maximum bond order was found for the seven, 14, but here maximum minimum bond order will be found for the 4, that is 0. If number of electrons are 4 then bond order is going to be 0, okay. Now let us take 3 and 5, for the 3 and 5 it is going to be 0 0.5 for here it is 0 0.51 and here again you have to decrease it it is equal to 0 0.5 okay so with this you will be able to solve the bond order for a diatomic molecular ion with electrons between okay between 7 to 1 or otherwise you can say 1 to 7 above 7 already we have studied previously below 7 this is the technique understood I, I think you can uh, you can utilize it for calculation. Let us take Be2, okay, beryllium. So, okay, so beryllium uh, is more than this one. Let us take lithium. Let us take lithium two. Okay, so for the lithium two, it will be six electron. So six electron means bond order is going to be how much one? Let it be H2 also. H2 also number of electron will be 2 and bond order is going to be 1. Let me take He2. So here it will be 4 electron. So bond order is going to be how much? 0. Bond order is going to be 0. Like this both we can make a magic and make you a winner, make you Vijay in every examination understood so in the similar series i am going to give you one more lecture to find out the bond order of polyatomic molecule or ion so stay with me stay success